There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Welcome everybody to this um, monthly insider call for uh, Flash. Uh, my name is Dominic and I will go through uh, some of the settings that we are currently running. Uh, I will also show you the MyFX book of the account that one of our customers is running for now already like for over uh, two years uh, and he did actually like 400% on that account. Uh, if anybody has like any questions, please put them into the chat. Uh, into question uh, Q&A so I can answer your questions here live on the call. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into the share screen. And first of all, uh, we're going to look into this account. As you can see uh, right now, he is up already 453%. Uh, he is running the standard pairs, Euro USD, USD CAD, GBP, GBP USD, and NZD. Uh, USD. He is not running gold on this account. Uh, me also personally, I stopped running gold uh, right now on Flash because gold is just like ripping through every support, resistance, through anything. So it's like not uh, good to trade with gold at the moment uh, with Flash. So I stopped it because it's just like reaching all time highs without like any pullback. Uh, and this is not good like for the strategy that uh, Flash is actually implementing. So uh, I will show you now and go through a little bit through the settings so you guys understand like the settings. Uh, I will open up here uh, my account and you can see here uh, we are running Euro USD, USD CAD, NZD USD, and GBP USD on this account. Uh, the settings are for all the pairs uh, exactly the same. I'm using uh, Flash Pro. Uh, Flash Pro it's much better because you can adjust all the settings as you want. Uh, one really important thing here to understand with Flash is it's like how uh, you set up your lot size. Don't go too aggressive with the lot size, especially if you have a smaller account. So uh, if you're running uh, four pairs, let's say Euro USD, USD CAD, NZD USD, and GBP USD at the same time, uh, then to be like conservative, like or moderate, you should run every single pair on 0 0.01 because if you combine all these lot sizes together, you're running 0 0.04 lot size on four thousand dollar account. If you want to run all the all four pairs at the same time and you have like two thousand dollars on your account, I would consider that aggressive. You have like only thousand dollars on the account. Uh, then you can only run two pairs at the same time. You cannot run four pairs because I wouldn't go under 0 0.01 per 500. Uh, and if you have like $2,000 on your account and each account has 0 0.01, then altogether you're running 0 0.04 lot size. What means that you're running actually 0 0.01 per 500. So to run every pair on 0 0.01, uh, then you should have at least $4,000 on your account. Uh, take profit cash amount, I always keep it like really high because if we have like the trailing stop loss on, we will never reach this take profit in cash amount anyway. Uh, so I just keep it at a thousand. Then trailing stop loss, uh, how uh, we have it set up, we have it set to true. And then we have, we have cash trail start set to seven. So what does that mean? When you have it here at seven, then once you will see here, uh, 
profit reach seven, then it will start trailing with three dollars. So that means if it reaches altogether profit of seven dollars, it will uh, uh, it will trail with three dollars. So that means that you secured four dollars. If the profit goes to eight dollars, it trails by three. You will secure five dollars, and so on and so on. For every single dollar, you will secure more and more profit. Uh, max trades open prepare. Uh, it's set to ten. That means that for Euro USD, it can open ten trades at the same time on that pair. If you have also set the same on USD cash, the old the same on NZD USD, and also on uh, GBP USD, then altogether you can have on your account at the same time open uh, 40 trades. Okay, so that is like why it's important that you are running 0 0.01 uh, per thousand. Okay, then you have here max trades pips enabled. I always have this on true, and you should have it also on true, is because uh, it can only open two trades in the pip range of 20 uh, of 20 pips. Okay, if you put like here 40, then you uh, widen that range. So in the 40 pip range, you can only open two trades. For now, it seems that this 22, uh, it's working really nice. Uh, then draw down limit cash amount per pair. Uh, I have it set here to zero. I don't know like what risk uh, you guys like to run. Like you have to decide how much you're willing to uh, risk per pair, but this is per pair. Okay, if Euro USD, you set here $100. If Euro USD would be $100 in, uh, negative, then Euro USD trades would get closed out. This is like what you guys have to figure out what you want to run. Okay, continue working after stop loss. Uh, after stop loss hit, if the equity protect uh, hit, you can set it here to true or you can set it to false. If you have it to true, then it will start looking for trades immediately after that. If you have it uh, put to uh, false, then you have to redirect flash onto the chart. Expiring pending time. Uh, it's set to 90 minutes uh, overbought, it's 90, oversold, it's 10, all the pairs the same. Uh, trade on Monday, true, true, true. So we are trading every single day. I have it set uh, on Friday to false. So if there's like no trades open on Friday, it's not going to trade. Then the trading time is, uh, I have it set that it starts trading on Monday morning at 2 a.m. And it trades till uh, 10 p.m. And then it starts trading again at uh, 2 in the morning. At I have it like every day set the same from 2 to uh, 22, from 2 a.m. to 10 p.m. Every single day the same. And like these are the settings that we are running on every single uh, single pair on uh, Euro USD, USD CAT, NCD USD, and also GBP uh, USD. And these are the settings that are being run on this account since inception okay so since he started running uh this account the customer he's always running in the exact same settings he's not changing anything he said and uh, you can see the results are amazing yeah the drawdown is bigger because i think that he still has some uh us 30 trades inside because he was playing around with us 30 but most of it you can see here it's working really nice five percent six percent eight percent and you can see uh, he's only running USDK, Euro USD, GBP USD, and NZD uh, USD. So these are like the trades that he's running. Uh, nothing special. He said that he's not doing anything special. He just lets uh, flash trade, and this and it's that's it. Uh, let me see if there's like maybe any questions. Chat. Okay. Uh, there is no question. So I don't know like what we can talk about. There's like nothing special to talk about because. We are not changing a lot. We are not changing any, uh, how would I say, settings or something like that. But he's just letting it run. So uh, I'm going to wait if there's going to be maybe some uh, questions from your side so I can answer them. If not, we'll talk also in a month time. But yeah, this is it from my side. If you guys have like any questions, uh, please uh, put them into the chat so I can answer them. Okay, if there's no questions, uh, I wish you happy trading and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.